So today we're gonna to go back to the basics and talk about video monopods. Um, this is kind of an essential tool when you're running around and you don't wanna use a full on tripod um, and you want more stability than a typical monopod. These video monopods have some sort of uh, feet that you know fold out and give you a little bit more stability. Typically they have like a little ball swivel at the end here so you can kind of pan and slightly kind of tilt your angles a little bit. So very handy uh, monopods. I would say the most popular one that first came out was the one from Manfrotto. This right here is the uh, 561BHD V, which has been discontinued. Um, I think they replaced it with a 562 and they may still have a 560 available as well. Um, Benro also has a line of video monopods. Uh, this one right here is one that comes with a um, I think this is the S4 head, which uses a Manfrotto compatible quick release plate. Um, so these monopods will come with that head. Then Benro also offers some smaller monopods with a smaller head. This is a proprietary QR plate here. Now, the Manfrotto, when available, will run you anywhere from 170 for a small version to 250, 260. Um, and again, it comes with some sort of head. And the Benros uh, will run somewhere around, I don't know, 160 maybe, and, and on up to 300 plus, uh, depending on the type of monopod, the height, the type of head that you want, and all that stuff. Now, while I think these offer great value, you get um, a head on top of a monopod with some articulating feet for stability. Um, I think that this Sirui video monopod is the best video monopod I have seen to date. Now, they start at about $160, but it doesn't come with a head. So if you need a head, you know, you probably get, I won't say better value, but you'll get more out of these products here. Um, but if you want the features of the Sirui, you can always put a different head onto this video monopod. So we're gonna take a look at that right now and um, kind of compare. Uh, there's a lot to this video monopod here and the build quality is amazing and um so I, these have been out for a little while but they have had some changes since its first release uh so they've added quite a bit to these monopods now let me just show you what you get all right this is the video monopod here now Sirui actually offers a few different types um, of, of monopods, video monopods, and the difference is going to be whether you want carbon fiber or aluminum, whether you want one that has a shorter minimum uh, collapsible height to a longer uh, maximum height. And um, so there's a couple of different variations. This is kind of their basic aluminum one which runs about $160. Again, doesn't come with a head, but um, we're gonna go through this and just kind of show you some of the features. Really, really great build quality on this thing. So let's just see what's in the bag here. We've got another little base here. And in the base, we have a thread that has a 3 8 and a quarter inch on the other side. I'll show you what that does because that's kind of cool too. Um, you have a spiked foot over here. So you have a spike if you want to use your monopod with a, with a spiked foot. Some of them have that. Then you get a set of tools, a carrying strap. Obviously this bag comes with it. Now, some of the Benro stuff will come with bags as well. And Manfrotto, I'm not too sure of, but uh, Benro typically will come with a bag. All right, so what makes this video monopod better than these guys right here? First of all, these feet, the feet are amazing on this thing. I mean, just look at the size of this compared to the feet that you'll typically get and which is very similar across any of these monopods here. This is the size difference of the feet, which this is massive. So you're gonna get a lot more stability. Plus the build quality on this one, um, they say you could just place your foot right here and just step on this and it's designed that way. So you can actually step on the foot 
while you're operating the monopod. And for these, it's not suggested that you step on the foot. As a matter of fact, I actually broke one of the feet on my Manfrotto monopod while at one of the shows. Luckily, they replaced it for me, but um, it did break. So this one here, they say, go ahead and step on this. Just pretty much abuse it. These feet are uh, super solid. Um, another thing is that these right here kind of fold out with a foot and it will articulate in this sense and you can also pan left and right but they don't lock so if you were to place your camera up here um, this could just kind of tilt over so not recommended that you leave your camera standing on here even though small cameras you probably can get away with it if you're very careful uh, but not really suggested this guy locks down in place so you can actually use this as a tripod in some sense as long as you're not overloading it um, they actually allow you to lock the foot down here so this collar right here you loosen this up and it disengages from the base and now it allows you to get all of that articulation um, as well as rotating on the base now i'm pointing that out because it's they actually have a different panning system but here we can actually rotate on the base and we can actually tilt we also have fluid drag, well, I won't say fluid, but drag adjustment here at the ball. So if we loosen this, it becomes loose. And then if we kind of tighten this knob down here, we kind of get more drag out of this. So you can control how much stiffness you want at the base of this. And then again, if you want to lock this down, you turn the collar, it engages with the base, and then it no longer will swivel. Now, when I was mentioning the panning, you can rotate at the base here, but they actually have panning built in here, which has another collar for you to lock the panning or unlock the panning. So if we unlock the panning, this top portion here actually rotates and it's very fluid. So if uh, you don't want to pan at the base here, you can actually pan here at the top. And then if you don't want the panning, you simply just lock down this collar and then you no longer have panning. So another great feature that uh, these guys don't offer is panning up here at the monopod, the lock here, and the variable drag at the ball. Now, another thing that you can do with this guy is you can remove <clears throat> this monopod from the foot. Now, you're not really gonna do that with some of these. Um, but this will allow you to travel with a smaller monopod. So this will now fit in a carry-on um, kind of travel luggage. And I have problems bringing this guy with me all the time because it's so long that I have to bring, you know, I have to check it in basically. Something like this, I should be able to carry this on into one of my little bags. Now, disengaging it allows you to do a couple of things. First, we can take the foot from the bottom of this base here, and we can attach the foot directly to this monopod. Now, I'm not gonna do, do it completely, but now you can just use it as a regular monopod if you don't need the foot. And that kind of brings in where this spiked foot comes in because you can actually add the spiked foot directly under this monopod instead of using the rubber foot. I'm gonna put the rubber foot back on here so another thing is when you have the base removed, I mean, look how sturdy this base is. They actually give you another platform and this platform can be installed here. So let's, uh, let's make this a three eighths, drop it in here. And we actually have ourselves kind of a mini uh, tripod or a little hi hat. You can, again, disengage this collar from the base, adjust your drag and you can kind of use this as a little uh, little hi-hat, little monopod or tripod. And you can put any fluid head. So for instance, if we want to just grab the fluid head off of this Benro, I can mount this guy directly to this. So we would have ourselves a little tripod 
that we can, you know, pan and tilt. Um, let me take this off here. Now, both on top of this monopod and at the bottom here on the secondary platform, um, you can remove this. And right now I have a 3 8 set over here. You would take this out, rotate this around, drop this guy back in. And now we have it and it is a quarter inch. So if we wanted to mount a quarter inch accessory, we could do that here. Same with this one. You just flip this uh, screw and then you would have 3 8 or quarter inch depending on which one you need. So let's rotate this, put this back. All right, so now let's put this back together here. Very quick, very easy. We have ourselves this video uh, monopod here. And again, very, very sturdy platform. Um, for smaller cameras, you could essentially use this more as a tripod than you would one of these. So you, if you want to have a static camera angle, you could really set this thing down and um, feel pretty comfortable because of the wide base that it has here. But uh, that's kind of a quick look at the Sirui video monopods. Um, again, this is $160 without a head. Some of these may start at $160, $170 with a head. So while you may get a little bit more from this, I would say that this is the better video monopod build quality feature set um, everything uh, if you have a video head already go for one of these 160 bucks it's like a no-brainer and then if you need something again that's a little more lightweight that is a little more compact and extends to uh, taller heights um, they do have different models so check that out so anyways if you guys have any questions about this stuff um, check it out on the blog cheesycam.com. I'll have links below this video of where to find this or at the website.